In this video, I'm going to look at another example of the maximum flow minimum cut theorem. So here's a, an example here that involves um, seven vertices. So here's the source, there's the sink, and we'd like to determine the maximum flow of this network. Now, just using cuts alone, there's a lot of cuts that can be made, apart from the obvious sort of um, um, cutting off the sink sort of near the sink or cutting off the source uh, near the source. There's plenty of other cuts that can be made. So how do I know um, where the minimum cut should be? Or if, I, if I've made a whole lot of cuts, how do I know, um, or how can I verify um, which one is in fact the minimum cut? So I'm gonna sort of do this in reverse. So I'm gonna work out the maximum flow um, of the network using numerical methods first. And the way I'm gonna do that is to look at all the, the various paths from source to, to sink, um, from sort of simplest to the most complicated way to get from source to sink. So the simplest way I can see to get from source to sink is SDT. So using the minimum number of um, edges that I can find. And SDT, its capacity is five. Okay, because the five here sort of represents the, the weakest link in the, ch in the chain. And the chain is only as strong as the weakest link. So if the weakest um, edge here is five, or that's the sort of the lowest capacity, well, that determines the capacity of that entire path, SSDT. So let's subtract um, five from all that. And we've got seven there. Okay, another simple way or a simple uh, path to get from uh, source to sink is SET. And that one is also, um, well, uh, has, a, has a capacity of five. So let's put five there because SE um, determines the flow uh, or the maximum flow of that entire path. So let's subtract five from that and that becomes nine there. Now, another way to get from S um, to T uh, would be SDCT. So that's now using three edges, SDCT or four vertices. So SD is seven, DC is 10, CT is four. So the lowest um, of those edges there is four. So let's subtract uh, four from all of those. So that's six there, and that becomes three. And now looking at this um, network, there's no other way and now to get from S to T. So uh, in fact, if I go S, A, D, um, C, or S, A, B, there's still, there's no way to get from S to T. So that's it. So five plus five plus four, that's 14. So that represents the, or that is in fact the, uh, the maximum flow of this network or the flow capacity of this network. So the question is, let's say I made a whole lot of cuts. How do I know uh, which one would be the minimum cut? So the minimum cut would have to cut these three parts somewhere. So if we look at SDT, SDT, so this path here, the edge of lowest weight um, is five. So that represents the lowest capacity. So I'm gonna put a, a sort of a, an X marks the spot. Okay, so just there. So the cut that, or the minimum cut will have to pass this point or cross this point. Now SET, the, the edge of minimum weight is SE. So the cut would also have to pass through there. And SDCT, the edge here of minimum weight is um, CT. So I'm gonna put a, a big X there. So that means then that the, the cut of minimum value or, the, or the, the minimum cut would have to pass through these three um, X's. So it would have to pass through there. And that blue line would then represent the minimum cut. Thanks for watching.